Pacific salmon are fundamental to the biodiversity in the Salish Sea, and changes in the marine ecosystems have been significant. The Salish Sea Marine Survival Project will bring together resources and scientific expertise from Canada and the U.S. to study all biological and environmental factors limiting salmon production and the marine ecosystem. The Pacific Salmon Foundation's efforts will focus on the Strait of Georgia, the Canadian side of the Salish Sea. I clearly remember driving over Lionsgate Bridge in the 80s and you'd look down in, uh, in uh, August and September and there'd be 300, maybe 400 boats fishing there. You don't even know how they actually could fish. But this used to be commonplace all through the Straits and literally gone in two years. The program will study environmental conditions such as past and present weather variables influencing the Salish Sea and freshwater flows in tributary rivers and streams. It will also look at the bottom-up effects on salmon, like what salmon eat, starting from the smallest marine plants and continuing to the small fishes. And it will investigate the top-down effects, such as what eats, competes with, or can kill juvenile salmon, including diseases and parasites. As you can see a little lamprey scar there too, right there. The economic, environmental, and cultural benefits of this landmark research project are significant. The Strait of Georgia recreational fishery alone once generated about $750 million for local communities. Restoration of highly prized coho and Chinook salmon in the Strait of Georgia would have tremendous economic upside for recreational, commercial, and First Nations fisheries and related industries such as tourism that employ people in coastal communities. Salmon are an indicator species whose well-being indicates the health of the surrounding ecosystem as a whole. Understanding what's influencing salmon declines will help us understand challenges facing other species. Pacific salmon have cultural significance across ethnic and cultural lines in BC, yet confusion and misinformation about their well-being persist. The project will help bring clarity on the state of salmon. We have an incredible array of expertise in the Salish Sea. We have the people, we have the capacity in the labs, we have the vessels. We've never made the effort to put it together and we've never had the leadership or the funds. Right? Now we do. I guarantee we're going to know a hell of a lot more after three or four years than we do right now.